I forgot to enter the new products into inventory. first market for fall and today's video I am just going to focus on making the reed diffusers for the markets now I think I'm just going to make two of each because I'm not sure how they're going to do or if anybody's going to purchase them but I'm going to make a small inventory for all three markets this is for all three markets so if Let's say one sells, then I'll probably just end up making a replacement for that one. But it is the start of the week. It is Monday, and I am going to be doing a lot of product making, including trying to finalize the 10-ounce candles for winter and fall mostly, but trying to get them all finalized for all six of them. Now, if you are new here, my name is Tammy, and I am the owner of Lanesa Marie Candle Co., and I welcome you all in if this is your first video. And for everyone else, of course, I appreciate you coming back and watching me as I prep all week for these three markets that's coming up back to back to back. Now, enough of me talking. Let me get into it because I have a lot of stuff to be done today. So something I forgot to do was I forgot to enter the new products into Inventora because <laughs> I figured I would go buy my old school and do it with the paper printout that I have. But in order for me to keep track of any inventory and I'm starting this off new, I really need to log it in to inventory so i'm going to log this in real quick and then get started on making them Thank you. 
So I have everything all labeled. So it has the, <laughs> sorry about that. It has the sticker on there so I know which one is which. I gotta make sure this isn't leaking. No, it's not leaking, okay. I thought it was, but I have them all labeled so these are ready to go to get labeled up next. I do have to change the label on them, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Okay, so now I'm done with adjusting them in Canva, and now I'm going to switch it over to Cricut so that I could cut them out so that I could put them on the bottles come tomorrow. It is the next day and I just got back from picking up my laptop from the repair shop. So I'm starting my day a little late. I did not expect me walking over there to take that long, but it did. <laughs> so, and also I had to go to the store and get some things as well. So it took me a little longer than I expected. But today I'm going to do the room sprays for the market and get them out the way as well as labeling them and seeing as I made and printed out the labels for them yesterday I don't have to do that today so I can do the labels for today and label them well I could put the labels on the room sprays today so I am going to get that done and then there's a couple of other things I need to do as well I know that I got to go back onto Amazon and I got to order some lights because one of the markets is going to go into the nighttime hours. So I think that one goes until 7 p.m. So I need some lights for my tent. And I'm not quite sure if I want to do those little lantern lights that are on, Am well, that are on Amazon's website. I did save them in my in my wish on my wish list sorry <laughs> i'm trying to gab them myself here but i did save it on my wish list so i'm not sure if i want to do those because they're kind of expensive or if i want to do the string lights but when i get on amazon i'll do some research and i'll look for it but i'm going to put this food away it's not a lot and i'm going to get everything prepared out there on my craft table and I'm gonna get started on the room sprays, which shouldn't take me that long. But then again, I said that yesterday about the diffusers and I, it ended up taking me longer than expected. So enough of me rambling, let me get to putting this stuff together, oh, putting this stuff away and then getting started on the room sprays. I'm just all over the place this morning.
So now I have my little shake here, and I'll probably eat later after I'm done with the room sprays, but let me straighten up a little bit and put everything out, and then we're going to get started with the room sprays. And also, I got some more of those woobles that I saw online. Uh, this is my first one that I made. So, aside from a couple of errors, there's like the hole in his, <laughs> his tummy. I think it came out pretty cool. So, I wanted to do some more. And then I got some more crochet needles over there in different sizes. So, I'll be doing that probably at the end of my day, just to wind down for a little bit before I go to bed. Okay, so I have, now my room sprays out. I gotta go get my fragrance oils because I completely forgot to put them on the table here. I thought I had them already set out from yesterday, but apparently I don't. So I'm gonna run get those real quick. But these are the bottles that I'm going to be doing the room sprays in. They are four ounce amber Boston, Ro Boston round spray bottles and they're the fine mister so i'm going to put them in these here so i plan on because there are four cents i plan on making three each and one is going to be a sample and the other ones will hopefully carry to the next market and then the next market that way i don't really have to make a bunch of them i'm not trying to get my expectations up too high with the new products I just want to introduce them out there to everyone. So that's why I'm making small amounts instead of making a larger quantity of it. And also, I don't have any space at all in this apartment. I am planning to move in five months. I cannot wait because I am so over living in this place. It got us out of our other situation, but it has become a nuisance kind of tired of living under under neighbors and I've lived in apartments my entire life so five months I am going to start looking for new apartments outside of the city which I'm also excited for in probably about two more months I'll be looking because my lease is up in March so I'll be looking for new places so I cannot wait and hopefully I'll have a stable working area, my sister and me, where we can go and I don't have to constantly set up stuff and break stuff down. But that's a little off topic, but I am i cannot wait for that to happen and fingers crossed it actually happens and we don't have to sign another one year lease here because this was only a temporary spot for us before we moved and I still do want my house and with the circumstances that happened this year, I can start planning now for that house and moving out of the city, which I cannot, cannot wait to get out of this place because I've been here my whole life. So cannot wait to see something more than, than New York City. But I'm going to go ahead and start doing these room sprays and then we're going to move on to labeling them because they'll be done already sorry about the mess back there but like i said i have no room here and there's junk everywhere but um one of the but one of the things i like to do is i like to use these samples and get them out the way because i have a full drawer full of fragrance oils and essential oils so i like to use these just to eliminate them before I end up using the four ounce ones here because constantly getting new oils in and I'm sure you guys know that that as well because you're probably ordering and then you get the free sample especially from Flaming Candle Candle Science and I think there's a couple of other companies out there that also end up sending a free sample so I'm going to be using all of them just to eliminate them and get them out the way and make some room for the bigger ones that I'm ordering. I cannot wait though until everything is starting to sell more and people are starting to enjoy the scents. Then I could kind of narrow it down and know specifically which scents I'm going to use. And that way I'm not all over the place trying to figure out, you know, what's going to work with my 
my brand and what's not. So yeah, I'm going to use the rest of these. Tell me what can I do now? Ain't it always funny how? As soon as I let my guard down, here comes that familiar sound. When you start to get tongue tied, and in my heart I feel you lie. Though I knew the whole damn time, why do I act so surprised? Cause I'm free.
is my new diffuser now. So on the label, it has the information here, and then it has the directions here. And then on the side here, it's just the fragrance that's in it. And it's all legible. And then also it has a little warning sticker on the bottom just in case people forget. But that's it for that. Now let's do the together for you all the room sprays are done they are labeled the diffusers are done and labeled as you can see and ready for the market the next thing I got to do for the diffusers and the room sprays is put the final packaging together which I purchased some boxes for the diffuser so I'm excited to see how they look all put together and I have to seal up the tops for the room sprays, I got these little, these little things here, these little plastic things here to seal around the top. So I'm going to test it out with my heat gun 
and see how it works. Of course, I'm going to do it on one of my testers to make sure that it comes out correctly. But that was it for this video. I have still more stuff that I have to get done. And like I said, I hope you all enjoyed seeing this video here. And if you did, then please give it a like. It really helps my channel as well as sharing, commenting, and subscribing, of course, if you like the content that you're seeing so far. And once you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when the next new video comes out. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week. And don't forget to show yourself a little more appreciation. So until next time, this is Tammy saying, take care, everyone.